Shayo. Hey, so I was just speaking to Shayo, my co-presenter. Are you ready today? Mm, <laughs> I should be asking you, are you ready today? We are ready, Shayo. Yes, How are you feeling ready. today? Very well, thank you. It's day two of FIP E2 Pesto, EA Adeboye's Live at 80. We're excited. We know that God is involved in our father's life, a true matri a true patriot. Yes. An icon, a visionary. A mentor, a role model, that's our father. As the days unfold, we'll be letting you know who our father and the Lord is truly uh, um, to us, right? We're going to be letting them know. Okay, so my name is Sabrina Osma and I welcome you. It's going to be an amazing time I have with me. Introduce yourself. Yes, Mama. <laughs> so I'm Olushaya Oradele and I'm welcoming you to the day two we are going to be letting out some beautiful facts about our father, that enigma that is Pastor Ia Adeboye. All right. So, starting up this beautiful program this afternoon of the day two people into Pastor Ia Adeboye's life is the youth pastor, a provincial pastor of Youth Province 7, the perfect press, the perfect province, and the person of Pastor Jacob Obaro. Let's pray. We'll be right back. You are welcome to this time where we want to appreciate God for the life of our beloved Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, as he celebrates his 80th birthday. We want to praise God and appreciate God for a wonderful life. I want us to lift our voice and begin to thank God for the gift of life that God has kept him alive. The Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I want us to bless God for the life of our father and the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye. Let's thank God for his wife. Thank God for Mommy Gio. Let's thank God for all his biological children. Let's appreciate God for all the spiritual children. Let's thank God for RCCG. Let's give God praise for the life of this great man of God. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for our father. We thank you for keeping him alive to celebrate 80. Jehovah, we say thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory brethren lift your voice and let's celebrate god in the life of this great man of god father we thank you my father we appreciate you we give you all the glory we give you all the praise you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be adored you are worthy to be lifted up thank you jehovah thank you jehovah as we continue to appreciate god for our father and the lord we are going to be celebrating god and thanking him for our father Pastor E. A. Adeboye. So looking at the A in Adeboye, we want to thank God for amazing grace. Amazing grace that saved him, that God brought him out of darkness. God saved his soul. Let us thank God for the salvation of our Father and the Lord. Today is the blessing to all, everyone across the nations of the world because the Lord saved his soul. Let's thank God for amazing grace of God upon his life. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, the Bible says... We are saved by grace. Let's thank God for the grace of God that is evident. Grace of God that is visible in the life of our Father and the Lord is an embodiment of God's grace. Let's appreciate God for grace. Lord, we thank you for amazing grace. The grace has been amazing in the life of our Father and the Lord. God has showered his grace upon his life. We can all see the grace. We can testify to the grace. So let's appreciate our maker for the grace of God, the amazing grace of God upon the life of our Father and the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your amazing grace. Thank you for your amazing grace that saved his soul. Thank you for your amazing grace that is visible that we can all see. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. The D in Adeboye speaks of the divine choice. The divine choice. The Bible says many are called but few are chosen. That God chose him himself. God picked him out of the crowd. Let's thank God for divine choice. It's the choice of God. God called him and is backing him up. Let's thank God. We can see the evidence of the call in the miracles, signs, and wonders that we see all over the world. In the Holy Ghost services, the convention, the congresses, all the programs. Let's appreciate God for divine choice. That God called him and God chose him from the crowd. Let's appreciate God. He had his own agenda, but in the mercy of God, the Lord chose him. 
chosen for a great assignment that we are all beneficiaries of. So let's appreciate God for the divine choice of God in the person of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Ia Deboye. Father, we thank you. Thank you for calling your son. Thank you for choosing him. Thank you for divine choice. We appreciate you. We magnify you. We exalt you. We lift you high. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, thank you. Thank you. The E in Adeboye speaks of the everlasting arms of God. The everlasting arms of God that has been carrying him over the years. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 33 verse 27 that underneath are the everlasting arms. Isaiah 46 verse 4. The Bible says I will carry you. I will carry you from birth to your gray hair, to your old age. God has been carrying him from the day he was conceived in his mother's womb. The Lord carried him the first 10 years of his life, the next 20 years, the 30, 30 years of his life, 40 years, 15. Today we are celebrating 18. Let's give God praise. Let's appreciate God for our Father and the Lord. God has carried him. The Lord has carried him all through the years, through thick and thin. The Lord has been carrying him. Father, we thank you. Thank you because you have carried your son over the years in the past 80 years it has been you if man carried him they would have been tired any man that would have carried him would have been but you have carried him for 80 years and you are still carrying him lord we say thank you my father we say thank you lord we say thank you the strength of israel we say thank you thank you for carrying your son we give you praise brethren appreciate god let's thank god for these everlasting hands that has carried him over the years Lord, we give you praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The B in Adeboye speaks about the blessings of God upon his life. The blessings of God. Ephesians 1 verse 3. The Bible says, blessed be the Lord God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Look at the life of our Father and the Lord. God has so much blessed him. God has so endowed him with spiritual blessing, material blessing, physical blessing. Let's appreciate God. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. Oh, we thank you. you you did not just save him. We are not just celebrating the amazing grace. Today we are celebrating the divine choice, the divine call. And Lord, we thank you for your everlasting arms and we are thanking you for your blessing. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your blessing upon the life of our Father and the Lord. Brethren, let's appreciate this God. We thank you for your blessing. Amazing blessing. Marvelous blessing in the life of our Father. Thank you for spiritual blessing that his spirit is in tune with you. We thank you. Thank you for blessing his Father. Family, thank you for blessing our CCG. Thank you for making him a blessing in our generation. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your blessing in the life of our Father and the Lord. We give you praise. Thank you. Thank you for your blessing. It is amazing. We appreciate you. Thank you for spiritual blessings. Thank you for physical blessings, sound health. Thank you for material blessing. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. You have not just blessed him you have made him a blessing in our generation we give you praise we give you praise if the life of that the jew has blessed you i like you to lift your voice and say father thank you thank you for making him a blessing thank you for making him a blessing you said to abraham i will bless you and you will be a blessing father you have blessed our own father and you have made him a blessing we have come to say thank you we have come to say thank you be exalted be magnified in the name of jesus Brethren, I want us to thank God for the all, the open heavens, open heavens over the love of our Father. The heavens have been opened. There has been access. There has been access. The heavens over him has been opened. The heavens have never been blocked. Each time he prays, God answers his prayer because the heavens are open. I like you to thank God and say, Lord, thank you for open heavens over the love of our Father, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. Thank you for open heavens, Lord. Thank you for open heavens. Thank you for open heavens. The heavens has never been shut over his life. We have come to say thank you. We have come to appreciate you, brethren. Let's give God praise. Let's Let's magnify 
God in the love of Father and the Lord that God has opened the heavens over his life. Thank you for open heavens over Mommy Gio. Thank you for open heavens over the entire family. Thank you for open heavens over our CCG. We want to say thank you. We have come to say thank you as we celebrate 18. In the love of Father and the Lord, we thank you for the heavens that has been opened. Thank you for open heavens. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Don't forget to appreciate God for the open heavens devotional. It's part of the open heavens. Every day it is enriching. It is inspiring. Every day we, we, we check the open heavens. We are blessed. By the ministry of our Father and the Lord, let's thank God for open heavens devotional. Let's thank God because truly the heavens have always been open. We give you praise for open heavens in the love of our Father and the Lord. We appreciate you, Lord. We magnify you. We exalt you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to thank God once again for the why. In Adeboye, the why speaks about the yieldedness. The yieldedness. That God gave him grace to, to surrender. To surrender his own vision. To surrender his ambition for the vision of God. For the assignment of God. He, he said in Galatians 2 verse 20. He said, I'm crucified. Nevertheless, I live, but not I. But I live after I pattern my life after the Son of God. Let us thank God for the grace to yield. Let's thank God for the grace to surrender. The why in Adebo, it talks about the yieldedness. That let's thank God for our Father and the Lord that he yielded himself. He surrendered himself to be used of God. He has surrendered his life. He has surrendered himself. Let's thank God and appreciate God for a life, a sacrificial life. A life lived after God. A patterned after the things of God. Let's appreciate God. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for our Father and the Lord as he's celebrating his 80. We thank you for the grace to humble himself, the grace to surrender, surrender his ambition, surrender it all to the divine call. We appreciate you. Thank you for the grace to yield. Thank you for the grace to yield. Thank you for the grace to surrender all. Thank you for the grace to yield. We give you praise. We appreciate you. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. We have praised God, the A in Adeboye, for his amazing grace. We have praised God, the D, the divine choice, the divine call. The E, we have looked at the everlasting arms of God that has carried our Father. The B, we have looked at the blessings, the blessedness of God in his life. The O, we have looked at the open heavens. And the Y, we have looked at the yieldedness that God has given him grace to yield himself. And finally, the E in Adeboye talks about extraordinary strength the bible says young men will faint at 80 that is this standing strong is standing erect at 80 that is the strength of god the strength of god has never failed in his life lift your voice to him again and say lord thank you for strength starting with physical strength is physically fit god has kept him strong at 80 is looking 50 because of the strength of god father we thank you like the testimony of moses in deuteronomy 34 the bible says at 120 moses was was still strong his eyes were not dim his natural force were not abated uh, that is the testimony of our Father and the Lord that at 80 is still standing strong, is still moving around, is still preaching all over the world. Father, we thank you for strength. We thank you for strength. Today is not bedridden. Today is not lying on the hospital bed. We thank you for strength upon Daddy Gio. Thank you for strength upon Mommy. Thank you for strength. The extraordinary strength you have given to your son. We have come to say thank you that as 80 is still bouncing like football all over the place we want to say thank you thank you for your strength thank you for your strength thank you for your strength the bible says those that wait upon you in Isaiah 40 verse 31 they will renew their strength we thank you that on daily basis you renew his strength we have come to say thank you we thank you specially for your strength upon our father in the Lord daddy we say thank you thank
thank you father for this extraordinary strength we give you praise we magnify you we exalt you we give you all the glory if we have a thousand tongues it will not be enough to praise you you have done much more than we have thanked you for today but within the short time we have we want to say thank you if we have a thousand tongues it will not be enough to praise you for the great and mighty things you have done in the past 80 years in the love of our beloved father and the lord we have come to say thank you father we say thank you father we say thank you somebody lift your voice again and say thank you lord we thank you thank you for daddy june thank you for mommy Jill. thank you for all their biological children thank you for their spiritual children thank you for rccg lord we thank you thank you for making them a blessing a blessing all over the world, we give you praise. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Glory be to your name. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. We magnify you, eternal Father. Glory be to your name forever. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Our eternal Father, we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. The Bible says the living, only the living will praise you. Today, we are thanking you for the gift of life. Lamentations 3.22 says... It is by your mercy that our father has not been consumed. You have kept him. You have shown the mercy. We thank you. Thank you for amazing grace. Thank you for amazing grace. Thank you for the divine choice. The divine calling upon his life. We thank you for your everlasting arms that has been carrying him over the years. We thank you for your blessing. Thank you for blessing him and making him a blessing. Father, we thank you for open heavens. Thank you for the grace to yield himself. And thank you for extraordinary strength. We give you praise. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We promise you, Lord. By the time he's celebrating 90, our thanksgiving will be more than this. When he's celebrating 100, our thanksgiving will be more than this. You will continually keep him. You will continually uphold him. And Father, we promise that we will forever praise you. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. I'd like to join the whole world to celebrate our beloved Father and the Lord for this great 80th birthday celebration. We celebrate you, Daddy. We pray that the Lord will keep you. You will celebrate many, many more years in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless everyone that connected. The Lord bless you. Thank you. You're welcome back would like to use this medium to celebrate the ministry of Pastor Jacob of Barrow. Coincidentally, he's Sabrina's pastor. <laughs> so she's been here just thanking God over the life of our pastor. And some of the things that got to me from that prayer session were those acronyms. Did you hear the one that he talked about? Everlasting arm. I'm sure you've been in situations where God's hands have reached out to you and pulled you out of tough situations. I also like the part that when he talked about open heavens. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know open heavens devotional is one of the innovations by our past father, Pastor E. Adeboye, and it has blessed millions of lives globally. Did you read your open heavens today? Uh -huh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, it's one of those innovations that God has used to bless us in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And if you have not gotten your 2022 Open Heavens, it's time for you to do that. Go grab your Open Heavens devotion now. All right, it's now time to go into the fact. Yeah. Of course, we mentioned 10 facts yesterday. And today we have more 10 facts that you will love to know about our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch. Adejare Adeboy, I love that name. But you know, you know that we're going to be talking about the names of daddy today. Yes. And you, Yoruba people, you know how you can give your children names. Ha! Huh? How many names do you have, Shayo? Hmm. Off the back of my head, I know like 10, and I'm sure there are more than that. You, you, are you serious? <laughs> my God, 10 names. More than 10 names. Yes, more than All 10. All right, names. so can you give us the number one fact for yes. today? Yes, but before we go into the facts, actually, I remember telling you yesterday, if you joined us on the show, that there may or may not be a gift. So you need to get your pen, you need to get your writing pad, writing materials out, you need to be attentive. Stay alert, people. So the first fact. Drum roll. Yes. So Pastor E. Adeboye's father was a farmer and a part-time traditional musician. Wow. No wonder daddy can sing. Yes. 
You know, they always say that, um, what they say, charity begins at home. Yes, and an apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Wow, that's amazing. Daddy can play literally all the instruments. He can play the keyboard. I heard he can play the, um, he can play the piano. And he can also play the, G the guitar wow. and the drums. Can you imagine? Can you see the facts you're getting for free in this yes, place? Yes, so, <laughs> and Daddy usually compose all the songs all the um, um, aims, the aims, um, that aims we, for conventions and um, congresses special programs. And all, mostly, in fact, all the hymns we use in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Daddy is our major composer. There was one video that even went viral a couple of months ago with Daddy G and some people in the room. He was playing the piano and singing a hymn, yeah. and then he had these elderly people join. It yeah. was such a beautiful experience. Yes, and you know, we literally have a program on Dove Television called the... Um, the Panadrix of Daddy Gio, the Yoruba people, if you're part of the Yoruba people in the African, that's in Nigeria, is called the Ewi. Mm -hmm. The Ewi, yes. where Daddy, every convention, right, he gathers all the old people and they just sing to glorify the name of God. Isn't that beautiful? Glory be to God for our Father and the Lord. The second <laughs> fact, drum roll. Pastor E. A. Adeboye's mother was a locust bean um, trader. Wow. She sells the locust bean. And one beautiful thing about the locust bean that if you're having issues with your eyes and you're using glasses, go and get some locust bean because it contains the vitamin A for yeah. the eyes. So Daddy Gio's mother was a locust bean trader. She wasn't just one woman that goes about to just heal her husband mm -hmm. and nothing to not show. do anything. Very hardworking woman. And no one that daddy takes that part. Do you know that daddy is also into the ministry of business? Yes. Ask me the yes. business. Sabrina, what's the business? The business of soul winning. <laughs> Isn't that yes, a serious business? Yes, it's a wonderful business. business. Yes. Glory of course, to Jesus God. took Peter from fish, from being a literal fisherman to a fish of man. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. All right. Mm -hmm. The third fact. The third fact. You would love this one. Drum roll. So, our father, Pastor E. Adeboye, was born on a Sunday. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder he stole an answer. You know Jesus rested on... <laughs> mm. Jesus rested you're on... So, you're, you adding some, you're adding somewhere with that. You're adding somewhere Do you know my that. Yoruba name is Bosse? Oh, yes, so you were born on a Sunday. Can't you see too. some beautiful girl? Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? So if you want beauty, if yes. you want to be peng and yes. all of that, maybe just time your baby's birth to like a Sunday. You know. <laughs> so we can as well put that in your name, Pastor Sunday. Enoch. Adejari. Very, but, the, but, the, but the funny thing about that is people would be many at that naming ceremony because uh -huh. after church, you just gather at your house. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, right. Yes, yeah, so, but you know that's so true. My name is Ceremony. They say people came because it was a resting day. Yeah. And after church is what? Enjoyment. Do you know that sometimes on a Sunday, eh, if you are the type that have prepared um, stew on Saturday, on a Sunday like this, you don't boil rice in the morning. Let Fossing me tell you, you the best one. <laughs> the best one is that beans that you cook on Saturday. Uh, overnight. Yes. And you know, we fast on Sunday mornings. Yes. So after church, it's like everybody's running home to see who will go and warm it for. So you know that sometimes I will not lie, Sha, you're on most of these Sundays. I'll be thinking of the rice at home. Mm. Say pray, pray, and like, oh, can we those guys and open it? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but that's so beautiful to know that daddy was born on a Sunday. So. The fourth fact, which I call the 14th fact, is that Gio's childhood nickname was the Tiger Drum Roll. The Tiger? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's amazing. You can imagine that very Did cool. you see my mouth all open? <laughs> like, really? It's, it's hard to place his, um, his persona with... <laughs> So as a child, it must have been something else. So actually. I have one fact about the tiger, which people don't know, is that tigers are nocturnal animals. And one beautiful thing is that a punch from a tiger may kill you. Do you, do you, do you know how big those, those, those tigers, animals are, yeah? They're, one, they're, they're in the family of cats. Like, tiger is one of the greatest cats. Okay, let's put lion in one place. But, you know, it's nocturnal and one punch 
from the tiger and they are so calculative. So I literally always say the lion are just giving that tiger. Tigers can even climb, yeah? Yes. They can climb trees and all of that. They're one of the nocturnal animals. And tiger have a lifespan of 25 years. Amazing. They, they, and they don't grow old. That's one beautiful thing about tigers. No wonder daddy is not growing old. At 80. My he's goodness. Still so it's like, it's like these things have a way of just tying themselves Be together. Be careful what you tell yourself. <laughs> for, because there is power of life and death in, in your tongue. tongue. Yeah. And so being a tiger means that daddy is, is still there. Very calculative man, I tell you. Uh, uh, he, he is... Hmm, don't try that, do you? In fact, we have more facts about him that that punch that we're talking about, we're bringing it back. But this beautiful thing about that, do you, is, is at 80, he's still standing straight. He's not bent. He's not... He doesn't use the glasses at 80. That, that one is particularly amazing. It's particularly amazing. And you know, the, the funny thing is he fasts so much. He's still And fasting. people will be like... Uh, I need to eat so I can stay healthy and all of that. And he has gone to break that fact, to break that table, to say that if you stay in the presence of God, your strength is replenished. Mm, hallelujah. All right, what's the next fact? Yes. So Daddy Gio's father sold his only goat to pay for his school fees. Is that not a wonderful sacrifice? Drum roll. <laughs> A, what a significant one that is. Daddy Gio's father. Remember we mentioned yesterday that when the mother wants to pay... We're <laughs> going back to that one. <laughs> the father's story is a son's school fees to just go. It's no wonder. There's something about this eulogy. Yeah. That, ah, ah, yeah. Man, you can remove anything for us. <laughs> Once we call you the lion of the tribe of his village. Mm -hmm. The man that can kill the lion. Shayo, can I just help you with that? The Shayo, the most handsome man. Just be writing the check for me. Shah, you're the most wonderful man. So my amazing wife, if you're watching at home, you right. know what to do when I get back home. Uh -uh. What's that one? Oh? Hey, my amazing husband to be, I know how to get to you. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. No wonder the father could sell his only goats just to pay his school This fees. also speaks of the sacrifice of God. You mm. know, he gave his all so that he might bring us to himself. Mm. So yes. there is no love without giving, I yes. must say. Yes. So if you love somebody, you just have to give. Sacrificially. Sacrificially. Like Glory be to God. All right, so the sixth facts drum roll. Daddy Gio became born again under the ministration of Pa Akindayomi, the founder of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. That's so great to know that daddy became a born again under the founder. So if you haven't visited um, the Open Heavens Gallery in the, Redempt, in the Redemption Camp, I think you should. So you yes. understand these yes. things that daddy mentioned that when he became an interpreter and he gave his life to Christ um, that day, you know, um, he, the, uh, the founder just saw him and like, who is this fine young man? He's, we'll be able to lead us right and I right. I can imagine. And so he walked in into the church, and when they looked at him and said he's going to become, so nobody was interpreting at that particular time. And daddy just took up the, the, role. the role of being an interpreter. And he said something significant happened that day, and they just started calling him a pastor. I was like, no, he's not a pastor, he's a brother. So if you haven't visited the Open Heavens Gallery at the Redemption Camp, please do so. Is that one and three, Holiness Road at the Redemption Camp. The first house that Daddy Gio ever lived in the Redemption Camp. You should visit that place and get more, more, more information. All right, so shortly, shortly, we will be going into the social media segment after this fact. But one thing is certain, if you want to say a word of prayer for our Father and the Lord, just use the hashtag, hashtag EAA80 on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, at Dove Television, Tweet, at Dove TV, YouTube, just subscribe to us, at Dove Television. Right now, it's live on Instagram, at Dove TV. And the beautiful thing is, you can download the OH Prime TV app on your phone, on all of all your social, or sorry, on your Play Store, iOS, Android, 
even on all your tablets. All you have to do is go to your Play Store, type in OH Prime TV, and you're just good. And right now, we are live on one of the platforms on OH Prime TV, Dove TV Entertainment. All right, Shah, you're the last yes. one before we go to the social So the media. next fact, this is a beautiful fact, and it's, it, was, it happened at such a strategic time for Nigeria. Wow. Um, we would like to also maybe... Um, um, understand that those times were like difficult times because this fact states that that Igo started his university education in UNN that's University of Nigeria Unsuka mm. but he had to stop due to the civil war he had to come back down south and he, fin he backed his first degree eventually at the Obafemi Awolowo University like I said it was due to the civil war yeah. drum roll please <laughs> Yes, it was due to the civil war. He had to uh, uh, alt his university education at the University of Nsukka, of course, and he had to finish uh, at the Obafemi Awolowo university. university. That was one of the facts we mentioned yesterday that he backed his BSc in what? Mathematics. Mathematics! For those of you that don't like mathematics, I see my son must study without mathematics, so because I know they are very. Because there's something in that line, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. great people. Anyway, great people are also in the political science. <laughs> Scientists, what did you study again? <laughs> you, want to, you want to come for me again? <laughs> <laughs> great people are also in microbiologists. They're also a microbiologist. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have just seven facts right now. And of course, when we come back from the break, our most wonderful presenter, Promise, is standing by for the social media segment. So if you still want to send your message, go on all of our social media platforms. We will see you right after the social media segment. Stay tuned. Hi guys, um, my name is Gogo from Mr. Mwengo for your Uzodima. But I call Mr. Muno for short because let's be honest, my name is really long. Um, today I will be the one taking you guys through the social media section. Uh, okay, what's the purpose of this section? The purpose of this section is to bring the social media community to you guys that are on screen. Um, I'll be taking the Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter today to show you guys what we are saying online. So without any time wasting, we will go straight to. Um, Instagram. Okay, first on Instagram we have um, a comment from Oluwa Kemi Ayeju, Ayeju Grace, who says, "The Lord strengthen you, Daddy. Gio, the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. In Jesus' name, you shall finish well. Amen to that." We also have um, Kikelom Adeleye Alu, my own Daddy Gio. God keep you, watch over you, sir, grant you great, great grace to finish well and strong in Jesus' name. I feel like um, most people always feel like um, because he's our father in the Lord, our spiritual father, he doesn't need prayer of grace. I have to tell you guys, pray for grace. Everyone needs grace. I'm sure he's watching this, also happy that, yes, that some of his followers are also praying for grace for him, and he appreciates it. Um, we have um, a post from... Michael Lomo Boriowo, God bless you, Daddy. God bless Daddy as he, has, he has been a blessing to this generation. He has definitely and definitely been a blessing to this generation. Even from when I was born, growing up to now, he has been a blessing to me in so many ways that you will not believe. Um, moving on, we are moving to, um, we have a, a post from Lizzie Fash, who says, more grace upon you, Daddy. God bless and keep you, amen. God will bless and keep him for many, many more years to come in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Um, we have another comment from I am Etefia Mark 7, who says, You will finish well and strong in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. More grace, Daddy. Amen. Amen. And amen. We also have a post from El Elihis Gifts 2V, who says, Blissful and remarkable years ahead, Big Daddy. Amen. He will have so many wonderful and precious years ahead of him in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, moving on, we are moving to Twitter. And the first comment we have is, Father, please continue to deliver Pastor Adeboe from the hands of wicked and unreasonable people. He shall continue to be a terror to the kingdom of darkness. Bless him with good health and long life in Jesus' name. Um, this is someone who is praying for him to still give, be a pain in the ass to the devil. Um, we are moving on to Dayo Odenri Wale, who says, Lord Jesus, keep your son, Daddy Gio, and his family. Watch over them on a daily basis. Surround them with your wall of fire. Bless their lives and the ministry you have committed into their hands immensely. Help them to serve you till the end. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Um, I'm going to say an amen to this. Um, moving on, we also have um, Tolu Shola who says, May the Lord continue to prosper you, Daddy. You shall not fall. You shall not fail. The blessings of the Almighty shall continue to abide in your home. All your family and loved ones shall be secure in the hands of the Almighty God. You shall finish strong in Jesus' name. He will definitely, definitely finish strong in Jesus' name. Um, we have Rukuyat who says, Daddy, I am thankful that you exist. You have saved many Nigerians through God and prayers. You and your family will be blessed beyond measure. Thank you for choosing to stand with God. I am also part of the family that he has blessed. So I will say a big amen to that. Um, we're going to move to Facebook now. On Facebook, we have Osita Ibeke, who says, Happy birthday, sir. May God honor you forever. Many blessings in sound health. Amen to that. We also have Samuel Oweye, who says, Daddy, the Lord increase you mightily, strengthen you greatly, increase and anoint you more. Keep you and your entire household in Jesus' name. Many more years, many more, of, many more of God's grace, strength and mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to say an amen to that because that is powerful. Um, we have Beatrice Adedeji who says, More grace, more wisdom, stronger health, and all-around peacefulness to Daddy Gio or Daddy e. Adeboe. You will finish strong in Jesus' mighty name. Is that everybody wants him to finish strong today. We're all rooting for him to finish strong in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, we also have uh, from Amos, Timitokwe Omoli, who says, May the Lord continue to increase your anointing, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. May you live long to enjoy the fruits of your labor in Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations, sir. May he live to enjoy the fruits of his labor because he has labored. We have all watched him across the years laboring for the ministry of God. Um, we are moving on to, moving on. Okay, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoy this program. Personally, from yesterday, I've been watching the program and it has been wonderful. Today, I picked up a point that is still shocking me till now. I never believed our father's nickname would be the tiger. Even with that, He's still experiencing some of the features of the tiger. Like we can all say, like Sabrina said, he is not aging. Um, you guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this program. Don't forget that you can also be part of this program by using the hashtag EAA80. All you need to do is use the hashtag EAA80 and leave us to do the rest. You can also be on this program. Um, that will be all for me for today. I still remain your host from Miss Gogo, but you can call me Tamuno for short. I'll be passing it back to Faye Shayo and the beautiful Sabrina. Thank you for joining me today. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. You did so amazingly well. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I uh, promise you are so amazing. That your name is so long, Shao. But anyways, we call it Precious. And mm. uh, uh, did you hear that? Uh <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> All right, let's we can go on a break and when we come back we have more facts. Stay tuned.
welcome back from that break and of course i hope you enjoyed the social media segments but promise it was such a beautiful one having to read that those messages from all our viewers all over the world you want to participate and just like promise mentioned just use the hashtag hashtag eaa80 on all our social media platforms on facebook at dove television tweet at dove tv and of course on instagram at dove tv Subscribe to us on YouTube at Dove Television. The beautiful thing is we might just want to give you a very, very beautiful gift. Let's get to see all your comments. The most um, beautiful comment that will shock me. I may just <laughs> sign A or you may just receive A. Anyways, but not to worry. I know that daddy is actually watching this and mommy. And so daddy, from all of us here on Dove Television, we are wishing you again, again, a beautiful, happy birthday in advance. And you will finish stronger. You yes, know that finish stronger yes, or yes. just being... It was repetitive. You know, all of our people just want daddy because there's something to start well and to finish well too. Mm -hmm. Shayo. Scripture speaks about that. Really? Yes. He says it always what? says that the end of a thing is better than the beginning. Wow. So it's an aberration for something to start strong and then it ends weak. So God's plan, purpose for us is that we stand, we start strong and we end stronger. Wow. And I know that Daddy will end strongest if there's one English like that. You know, because he has started. I, I, I always say this, this. I'm not saying it's a skill per se, but you can see the growth. You know, the growth is like from... It's exponential. That's it. And, and he's, just, he's, he's just begun his ministry. The Bible says that Moses started his ministry at the age of 80. 80. Same as, as Caleb. You know, Caleb was old and it, it felt like it was at a time where he was supposed to retire. But scripture still speaks of his vigor at that point in time. He still wanted to conquer territories. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. And no wonder we know that our father will finish well, better, stronger, a man of humility. Truly, humility personified 100 over 100. In fact, 200 over 200. In fact, 1 million times 1 million. That's our Father in the Lord. Because nobody will have all of these things and things won't enter into the person. But God has been good to him. And that's why we are looking into his life a peep into Pastor E.A. Adeboye's life. You may just want to pick one or two things. In fact, pick everything because it's a true example of a true man of God in our generation. Like my mom always says that in every generation, there is a person. For them, it was uh, Pastor Pastor Reverend Idahosa. In our, mid, in our own generation right now, is Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye. And I'm so glad to be in this generation. Yes, you rightly called him a patriarch the yes. other time. He's is, is like, is like a kingmaker also. He's mm. the one that other men of God also revere yeah. and come to for wisdom. Awesome. He's wisdom personified. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. be to God. All right, Shayo, what's the next fact? Yes, so we, in the spirit of Daddy Gio's academic excellence, Drum roll. So Daddy Gio lectured at the University of Lagos, greatest Akokites, and University of Ilori. Wow. I heard that University of Ilori was like, for a very long time, the number one university in Nigeria. Wow. Yes. The good thing about them, that one that we know very well, is that they weren't under ASU for a very long time. Wow. So when those of us in other schools go on strike, they are still on, they are, they are, they are always on time with their wow. academic um, sessions and programs. No wonder. So they, they finish were. before all of us. Wow. That's amazing <laughs> to know. But not to worry. ASU strike is all over because indeed the siege is it's over. over yes. Our Father the Lord mentioned something about the, he, he's so passionate about academics, and that's why he always prays for people to finish well. He is uh, a man that will tell you, go to school. He understands the significance of education. And so we can see the fact that he moved from University of Insuka to University of Lagos to University of Ilori so uh, to Abafemi University. Wow. He's had some things to do in UI too. Wow. While I was in UI, one of the, some of the remarkable moments were the times that Adijio would come in, pray with the VC, with the lecturers and the students. Wow. They were powerful services. Wow. Like th there were times that you would literally see God on campus. Hmm. Yes. And God is still in the campus because look at what is happening in the Lighter program. I won't stop talking about the Lighter program. It's one event that has just come to stay. I see it going from glory 
to glory. I don't think light up will stop. Do no, light so? up shouldn't stop. Yeah, <laughs> it, it shouldn't, shouldn't stop. Yes. It's been an amazing time. I've been a part of a few of them. Wow. And I can tell you that it's God's agenda for this time. Glory be to God. Eight million souls be won over for Jesus Christ and of course to the glory of God. Hallelujah. All right, the next drum roll, 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 roll. Sometimes... Sometimes people like us, we don't want to be a pastor's wife because it's a lot of work. Yes. Do you yes. think you can escape it? Who told you? What do I look like? Don't I look like a... <laughs> what does Sabrina look like? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But what I think do you look like look a pastor's wife. Uh -uh, brother, calm down now. Should we tell people to phone in or okay. send a text? Send, just put a comment on it if you're watching right now on Facebook. Do I look like a pastor's wife to you? <laughs> Is it not sure that's looking like a pastor with his heart and all? You know all those men that comes with fire? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the drum roll is the fact that Pastor E.A. was ordained a pastor in 1975. 1975, he became a pastor. That's how many years ago, if you want to do the calculation. All uh, right, so 75, that's um, 40... 40 years and counting. 40, 40 something years. Wow, uh, more than 40 years. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's still standing in the Lord. Not a lot of people gave their life to Christ. Some people gave their life to Christ and collected their lives back. Some people were even pastors, but of course, mercy Wait. was nowhere to be found. Mm. And then they are back to their vomit, as it were. Wow. But we thank God for grace in the life of Pastor Iadiboye. It's, 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 not, it's not about works that any man should boast. It's simply God's grace and mercy in that man's life. Yes, do you know that other people will want to give themselves this almighty name? But Daddy still stayed with Pastor. Yeah, you, did you watch that docu series about Daddy Gio? That at the initial stages they wanted to call him a reverend, but he was like, no, he would just retain the name of a pastor. Yeah. It was just all about humility, about yieldedness, like Pastor Jacob Obara said. Yeah. It was just he just wanted to be a man under God. Hmm. He wanted to just serve with his life. So are you trying to tell me that those names can actually distract you? Yes, we must, we must just understand our own journey, our own path. We have different paths in God. Of course, we wouldn't say that all the reverends are not serving God because mm -hmm. I can mention so many of them that have stayed in God also. But Daddy Gio is a man that understood his path, mm -hmm. his own route, his own fellowship, his own walk with God. Wow. It's important as Christians that we, we, we identify that. So I'm speaking to you out there. You need to understand your own journey with God. You need to stay with God. Have him tell you things about your own walk with him. Mm -hmm. And I know that if you put your hands in his hands, it would not lead you astray. Wow. That's that's amazing. And to also see that titles doesn't mean anything. It is your closer relationship with God that means the whole lot. You know, my, my, I, I remember Daddy said, Daddy said the, the other day that when we get to heaven, they won't say, Reverend Doctor, <laughs> come and stand here. No way. They call you by your name and say, Sabrina, stand before me and give an account. So let's be mindful of of the way we live our life, just like Shia says, which is very, very important. And God will help all of us to make heaven, which is our ultimate goal in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, the last fact for today. Drum roll, 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 roll. <laughs> all right, the beautiful thing about this is the fact that Daddy, do you know that Daddy has up to six names? Hmm. Shia has more than 10 names. <laughs> Sabrina, how many names do you have? I don't know. I think it's just four. Wow. Yes, yeah, Sabrina, Yasmin, Bosse, and of course, my lovely. They just had that one. Oh. You don't know the last one they had. It was one woman that saw me and said, my name is Ewa Tomi. That's a beautiful name. Really? Yes. Okay, so I have just four names. But I know my mom gave Do you know me. the meaning of Ewa Tomi? What does it mean? It means beauty is enough. Hi! Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> so you mean my beauty is enough like this? Or you need much more? Or do I need much more? Uh, of course, we'll get much more because well, God's, God's glory, God's glory beautifies us. It's like... the only beauty of Jesus that I want to. <laughs> beauty of Jesus. Because when we get to heaven, they will say it's by your beauty. They say it's by your works. That your works will be tested mm -hmm. in fire. Okay, so do you want to mention the names for me? So I think we should pick the names one after the other. All right. So you know that man that controlled the chariots of fire. Elijah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What of the names? Uh, Elijah? Sunday. We mentioned that earlier. Yeah. So, if, so if you were listening or if you are just tuning in, that DJ was born on a Sunday. So of course his parents start to give him Sunday. 
No, I think it's Oladun Joye. Eh. Okay. Oh, Oladun Doye. Oh yes, Oladun Doye. What does that mean? Oladun Doye. Olagun doye. So it means that Ola symbolizes wealth. Okay. So Oye is like um, um, royalty or wow. position. So it means that um, wealth has brought you into a status of royalty. Whoa. I think I'm going to opt this name for my son. Olagun doye. Hey, hey. Brother Olagun doye. Where are you? He's coming forth very soon. Hello. Uh, yeah. So you're calling, you're calling things that be not as, as though, though they were. They were. Mm, I like that. I All like right. That. The other one is Adetono. What does Ade turn on mean? So Ade crown, royalty. So it's like Daddy Chiu has this this royalty about do. him. And you know the funny thing is, yeah. I said it yesterday, Daddy Chiu would always say that he was born to the poorest of the poor. Yeah. But his parents did not look at their present circumstance. Wow. They gave him names that they wanted him to come into. Wow. So Ade turn on is like, when the crown leads you, mm, you so it's it's like a day tunnel. Oh no, mm. is the way. Wow, and that is other name like we know Enoch, yes. and of course Ade Jari. And one beautiful thing about the Sunday that he was born is that he said that the day they gave birth to him, that it was raining, and it was the sun was shining. And one African myth that we know is if the sun is shining and the rain is falling, it means a lion. A tiger is giving birth. Uh oh, <laughs> I know one that his nickname was. Tiger. Tiger. Wow, it's been a great time peeping into the life of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Elijah, Sunday, Olagudoye, Adetono, Enoch, Adejare, Adeboye. I'm sure you've learned a lot. Um, this is like the second phase. Tomorrow we'll be here again, same time, 1 p.m. West African time. Wherever you've been watching us from, please don't forget to drop all your comments and prayers on all our social media platforms that we'll be showing right now on our television. Just drop it and say a word of prayer on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. And don't forget to download the OH Prime TV on your phone. From all of us here, we're saying a big thank you for joining us. And of course, show you again over here tomorrow. And I know it's going to be a good, good time. Do you want to do chairs? Do you want us to say chairs? But as we chairs, I would like to remind you that next week is 80 hours Messiah's Marathon Praise. Mm. I hope you are preparing to praise God. Please take a seat. It's going to be an awesome time. Right, yes. Yeah. So get ready to praise God with us from the 28th as we celebrate with our Father and the Lord, the Dere Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Sabrina Osma. And I am Ulushaya Rodele. All right. Cheers and have a good day. God bless you.